This is a short demonstration of the new RX2 impedance bridge. Here I've connected a 50 ohm termination and I have the bridge connected to a Sanjin shortwave receiver. Here you can hear some noise coming out of the bridge. And here I am nulling the resistance and now the reactance control. Here is a closer view of the R dial. And here I am adjusting the reactance dial. Here I've connected an 82 PF capacitor across the Z unknown connector of the bridge. I will now use the reactance dial to confirm that value of capacitance. The receiver is tuned to 10 MX, which uh, happens to be a convenient frequency. Here we've connected a small coil of 0.8 microhenry, and I'm now going to adjust the reactance dial to see where it uh, nulls on the bridge. As I adjust the reactance control, I find a null here around about 70. Using a small chart which happens to come from the RX1 bridge, if, if we have a look at the uh, reading of 70 at 10 MHz, we find that the equivalent inductance or inductance is 0.78 of microhenry, which is close enough to the 0.8 that we've put across the bridge. Just to give you a look at the inside of the RX2, I've removed the front panel and the knobs. This is the, uh, the RF deck. It's the same as the RX1 bridge. The control panel with the uh, variable potentiometer and variable capacitor. The battery pack back here. And the noise generator plus the power on off switch over here, which turns the LED on. The RX2 contains the same internal components as the RX1. However, the dials aren't quite as accurate and the unit weighs approximately half a kilogram or half the weight of the RX2, making it a little bit lighter for overseas uh, purchases.